Tonight's Project Education, Mobile County Public School teachers are voicing their concerns over the school district's new scheduling plan for next year. We told you earlier this week high school students will switch from the current block schedule to what's called a modified period schedule. They'll take eight classes all year instead of dividing them up between semesters. And it has many teachers concerned their workload is about to grow. Here's NBC 15's Andrea Ramey. Teachers will have the same number of students throughout the school year, but instead of teaching half in one semester and the other half the following semester, they'll be juggling all of them throughout the school year. And some teachers say that's not ideal. Abigail Davis works for the Alabama Education Association and represents teachers. She says since the schedule change announcement, dozens have raised issues. We're told a survey of teachers at Baker High School showed the majority did not want to switch. This petition, started by a student and signed more than 3,000 times, urges the district to keep things as they are. Most of the teachers don't love the idea of the change for themselves or for the students. Beginning in August, students will take eight classes all year on alternating days. Four classes one day and the other four classes the next day. Davis says some teachers worry it'll be too much. Students that you're now doing paperwork for, grading, accommodations, I mean, it's a lot more than it seems to be to the average person. A spokesperson for the school district says teachers will have the whole year for the class instead of a semester, so the homework will be adjusted accordingly. The school district says the new schedule model is better for students because having shorter year-round classes will help students retain more knowledge and achieve. Especially when you're taking a math class, if a student takes a class in the fall and if they don't see it again for another year in the spring of the following year, that's tough for them to retain that knowledge. So for them taking it for a full year, that will be less time for them to forget it. The school district says high school students will still be able to take career tech courses and participate in co-ops and dual enrollment. Davis wants to make sure the schedule change doesn't overwhelm teachers who she says already have enough on their plate. We, as we've seen even with COVID, it's the more you give them, it makes it harder on them and it wears them down and their mental state goes down. And, we want the teachers and the students to benefit from everything that the county does. Mobile County Public Schools says a lot of districts are switching to this schedule. Baldwin County High Schools made the switch back in August of 2020. A spokesperson for Mobile County Public Schools says they understand there's a lot of questions right now about this change and more information will be coming out in the coming weeks. In Mobile tonight, Andrea Ramey, NBC 15 News.